Obviously, we missed the vlog last week, and I want to explain to you exactly what happened. So let's rewind back to two weeks ago when we had a vlog about rushing our dog to the emergency room. Um, she literally went from like 100% to 10% overnight, and it really concerned us. We thought it was some kind of poisoning. So they did blood tests, a urine test, and said everything's fine. They also did a physical to make sure she wasn't like in any type of pain or anything, and they said she did pretty well. So they pretty much told us we need to keep an eye on her, but they think it's degenerative malopathy or something like that. And basically, it's a painless disease that dogs go through. They lose the mobility in the back of their legs, and that's why you see a lot of dogs with those like wheelchair things behind them. So we brought her back home. She was resting. We gave her some pain medication. She was sitting there for a few days and she got very um, depressed. She looked like she was in a lot of pain in her eyes, like you could just see it. So last Friday, I wanted to show you, give you guys an update on how she was doing. Hey, don't go potty. Come on. Let's go potty. not doing good at all. So I was just like, there's something wrong here. She is in so much, you can tell she's in pain. So this is definitely not that disease that we thought she may have had. She hadn't eaten for two days and I, I didn't know how long dogs can last without eating. And I looked it up online and it said about three days. Rushed her to the vet. So they said they recommended getting x-rays. They told us that uh, we could go back home and they would give us a call when the x-rays were done. Two hours later, we got a phone call and the vet said, we found something in the x-ray. You guys, can you come down here now? And there was this one area in Liddy's spine. Now look again, this is where the spinal cord goes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look right yeah. there. What it, is that? There's a chip there and then you should see perfectly clear Snoopy heads. Yeah, and you and can see not... there's an opacity there. Like okay. there's part of the disc is shot up. Here on her back, look at that chip. Wait. That's the same spot as mm. that. Okay. okay. So you're saying her spine is chipped? Well, I mean, that's a lesion. Yeah. And I guess this chipped bone should heal over time. So this is like the best case scenario, I think. Um, she just needs to get a lot of rest and she's actually doing so much better. Literally, I thought when we took her in on Friday that that was gonna be the last time we may see her. And it was, it was very uh, emotionally draining couple days for us. We're just really thankful that that was the problem, which led us to, wait a second. There was an incident where it would involve the kids in our back door. This door right here, this was um, where she liked to lay down. She laid in this area right here. And one day, the kids um, were running inside and they didn't know she was laying there. And they swung open the door. And I remember I was standing off to the side and I saw it. And the door, the door hit her. And she was laying like right there. It hit her in the back. And I remember that she yelped like she cried out and then she stood up and immediately she started limping in her back legs and Mike was in the other room he's like whoa what just happened I heard Liddy cry out I was like the kids ran into her but she seems to be fine now like I was watching her I was like maybe it was just like it hurt in the moment but she seems to be fine so and that was that was like a week before she showed any signs of yeah pain. yeah so I mean that's why we didn't think of that incident because she was completely normal after. Cause we were, I remember watching her and I was like, it looked like it hurt, but she didn't, she was like running around playing with the kids and her normal self. So that's why we never even thought of that until the vet's like something must've, she must've, I don't know. She got hit by something enough that it chipped her back or her bone. Um, so uh, that was pretty crazy. It's really sad to know that she got hit hard enough that it chipped and that she's been in pain that whole time. And it's just, we've been trying, just the whole process trying to figure out what's wrong with her. Hi. My name is Micah. And I'd sit. We got a lot of sugar, so. My turn. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to jump in.
All right, I wanna thank you guys so much for all your comments too with uh, about Lydia in the last vlog. You guys were so encouraging and we just appreciate all your guys' helpful tips and everything. Savannah has something she wants to share with you guys. And I have two announcements I wanna share with you guys after, so don't go anywhere. When we first moved here, the girls did not have beds or mattresses. So we got their mattresses as soon as possible, so they have not been without beds. <laughs> but this whole time, I have been trying to find beds for them. And we did have beds, but they broke down like with several months after we bought them. So I was like, okay, now I wanna buy a bed that I know is gonna last. And I was thinking, cause I had to try to convince Mike on this, cause he's like, he wasn't sure about it. But I wanted to buy like the old beds, like antique, wooden beds that like are Lola. still around today. Yeah, she's, she's not like old. When <laughs> Savannah says old, she doesn't mean like, like when we were born. She means like little house on the prairie days. Like Okay, so if those beds are still around today, then they must be good beds. We got the some beds from a antique store. I'm gonna show you the beds that I got, okay? So have an open mind when okay. you see them. <laughs> All right. All right, so here are the beds. Oh, we both died. Oh, wow. We got some green beds in here. <laughs> okay, so I know they're green, okay, but they're exactly what I was looking for. They're twin beds. They are, they're a Jenny Lynn bed. The wood underneath, you can kind of see the color popping off. It almost has like a reddish, dark brown. Um, so that is going to be like a dark brown bed or a reddish tint for those. So I'm thinking, what do you think? Should it be better if we strip the paint and leave the natural wood, that darker reddish wood, or paint them white? So that's kind of, you know, <laughs> we're trying to figure out what we want. What, what? As you can see, Micah's injured. He was jumping on the trampoline. Yeah, it's your ankle. Stepped on a ball wrong and twisted his ankle. Yeah. What? It is pretty swollen. Like when you compare both ankles. Yeah. Did it hurt Micah? Ankle's very yeah. swollen. The green beds are kind of fun. There may be a little DIY video coming up. Yeah. So if you guys want to see that, let us know. Announcement number one. You guys have been asking us if we have a new P.O. box. And up until the other day, we do now. So I will put the address in the description below. So nice to hear from you guys. We now have a P.O. box where you guys can reach us in the good old state of Idaho. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Announcement number two, we just today, Saturday, our seventh episode of our TV show, Face Your Fears with the Moors is out right now. It was just published today on Yippee TV. So you guys, if you wanna go check that out, we have a link where you guys can get one whole free month at no cost. If you don't want it, you have to cancel it by the end of the month and you're good. You can go in there, watch all seven of our episodes. I was pretty nervous at most of them, so I don't really know. Um, Sophia is amazing. If you guys have seen any of the episodes, you know what we're talking about. She has so much courage and she faces her fear the most out of all of us. Let us know what you think in the comments below about the episodes. Seven whole episodes of Facing Our Fears and it's so much fun, you guys. Please go check it out. If you guys have cable TV, our TV show is being broadcasted on Smile all throughout the week at 3.30 Pacific time. It's just kind of, it's crazy that we have like a TV show that's being, yeah. So as you can see, a lot of our kids um, need haircuts. So there's a possibility there will be a big haircut video coming up. So yes! a lot of you guys request those, so there might be one of those coming up. So we'll see you guys next, next time. No, no. Next time? Saturday. Or Saturday. Next Saturday. There you go. Can you say push that like button for Noah? All right, Micah, what do you have to say to your minions? Goodbye, minions. Put that like button for my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha